Hey guys, welcome to Caitlin's Corner. I know my corner looks a little different. I've added a bunch of stuff, and I don't know when y'all will ever see this video, but like the last time I recorded a video, it was kind of like a long time ago, <laughs> but today we will be doing six reasons why you should watch anime. Number one, it gives you something to do. So, you know, like when you have literally nothing to do or when you're bored. Like for instance, I went to the DMV and I had to wait a very long time before my number was even called. After I waited in line already for who knows how long. So while I was in line, since I had the app on my phone, I just was reading, I think I was reading Black Clover at the time, yeah. So I was just catching up on the latest chapter, just plural, because I like, if I know I'm going to wait, I'll let chapters stack up in bulk so that way I have more than one thing to read, or I'll just read one piece because I'm still behind, but I'm catching up. Right now, I'm on Fishwing Island. That's not the point. The point is, it definitely made the experience less painful. I'm not going to say it relieved like, the stress of waiting for literally hours. Like, I was there for hours. Nothing will... It just made the waiting more tolerable. And... Honestly, my phone did die. Um, I didn't charge it before, so I feel like if I read the entire time, it probably I would have liked the experience a lot more. But one thing about me, my phone is literally always dead. Or if you're in a conversation and someone is boring you, I know this is terrible, but I do this all the time. Like if I'm having a conversation, you know, instead of looking at your phone. It'll look like I'm scrolling, but in reality, I'm catching up on some chapters that I let pile up. And uh, number two, it's a good conversation start. Like for me, it always gives me something to talk about. So like, um, well, certain individuals that I actually talk anime to. So like my cousin, my older cousin, I got my, um, my older brother, um, and like a few of my friends and like my sister's friends from college so like I make sure that I'm always up to date on anime that I try to put people on so that way one no spoilers too it's fun to like just voice your opinion on stuff you know like oh did you read such and such chapter like my hero that chapter dropped yesterday um so I'm usually like on top of it always um, it keeps you interested in the show that you're watching. So, for me, I know that when I watch My Hero, I just put my brother on. So, I was asking him, because I know, I think he's watching it and reading it, so I was asking him what the last thing that he has read or seen. That way I don't spoil anything, because I hate to spoil anime for people. And we were talking about My Hero. No spoilers, guys. I'm not going to spoil it. Um... I was just saying where he was at, and we were just talking about it, and I just told him, hurry up and catch up, because I want to talk about it so bad. And that way, I know once he catches up, it'll keep me, like, interested in the show and make me want to watch it, because I know that he's watching it now, so. Number three is on the go. So... For me, when I'm not driving, which is usually like maybe family vacation or like an hour in the car, you know, anything like that, if I'm in the car for longer than 20 minutes, oh, best believe, I I download anime chapters and stuff so that way I don't like waste data, you know, I'm one of the hardcore nerds, so 
I usually just, I'll read while I'm in the car. That way, I, I mean, I'm one of those people that can read and still carry a conversation. But if it's getting good, I'm probably not going to speak. Not because I'm ignoring you, but because, like, when I'm drawn into something, I usually, I will not speak until I'm like, man, that chapter was phenomenal. Um, I remember this one time I was in, I was on the highway, but there was an accident before I got onto my exit. And, you know, when it's like you're not moving for an hour, like I wasn't even inching forward. It was a whole hour. And I was like, okay, I'm going to read. But I would read like for 30 seconds, look up at the car and realize that I'm not going anywhere. I was just really paranoid. I knew I wasn't going anywhere, so I definitely was reading. Or, for me, even waiting in line, like, at Chipotle, like, because sometimes you go to Chipotle and the line is literally outside of the door. I remember one time I opened the door and I had to stand beside the person that was literally in front of the door because it was so cold outside. And everyone was like, Hey, you can just stand right here. I was like, thank you guys. Like, everyone was trying to squeeze me in so that way we can all be inside. And I'm not saying everyone is going to get a quick, easy order from Chipotle because I certainly get the same exact thing every time. <sighs> Some people are very indecisive and, you know, sometimes the line just doesn't move when you want it to. So that's what I would read. And number four, I have interactive skills. Now, I know this one is a stretch, but hear me out, hear me out. For me, you know, it changes how you approach people. And by that, I mean you will consider their feelings more. And what I mean by that is when you see different types of characters, you know, different types of emotions attached to, like, different types of things involved with people's actions, you'll know, you know, you'll be more conscious to like what you're doing, what you're saying, and when I say like consider feelings, I mean like if someone is telling you, hey, I don't like that, what are you doing, you'll be like, okay, what can I do to make this situation better, if that makes sense. And by approach people in general, I mean like, just talking, conversation-wise, anything. So with that in mind, you'll know what to say and like what not to say and what to do and what not to do based on the person's reactions and feelings that they're displaying during your conversation. Like let's say you're hanging out with someone and they seem uncomfortable, like obviously what you're doing is making them uncomfortable. So what are you gonna do to change the situation? And for number five, we have personality. For me, this is definitely like something I picked up watching anime. Um, you can learn from the most liked character, like the likable character. Like for instance, you have like Luffy, Naruto, Deku. Um, there's different things about each one that makes people like them. And like I know like they're the main character. So obviously everyone's probably going to like the main character, but like you can still have your own character, but you're still going to like them for like their qualities. So like for Naruto, everyone knows that he's like friendship and driven, determined, he's not going to give up. Same thing about Luffy, you know, he'll do anything for his friends. So like keeping all of that in mind, you can pick up some of their personality traits and be like, man, how can I better myself for other people, you know, like different things, you know, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say stuff like that, like, people, I'm not saying, like, change yourself for other people, but I'm saying, like, obviously, if you're gonna be rude, no one likes someone who's rude, that's just what I'm saying. You can also learn to be happy with yourself, so, definitely, my hero is perfect, Naruto is perfect for this, you know, they have, like, some type of inner demon that they're trying to face, and then they learn to, like, love themselves for how different they are. So I think that's very important in today's society that you can learn that it doesn't matter if you 
fit in because who really cares about fitting in these days? I sure don't. I think I gave up fitting in when I was like 12. <laughs> um, one thing for sure, if you do watch anime, I do feel like it makes you more unique than other people because people are really quick to judge anime because of like the different spectrums of it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like there is some weird stuff, but like just because you watch One Piece or Naruto or doesn't mean you, know, you watch everything because that's not true. That's like saying because you like the color purple, you're stupid. And you can also learn why certain characters aren't like. So you can be like, oh man, they don't like the rude person or oh, he's always sad. Well, that's not really a good reason not to like somebody. But, you know. And number six, I think this is probably the most important thing that I learned from watching anime for pretty much my entire life. I think I could say pretty much my entire life. For as long as I can remember, for sure. One thing I learned from anime is that, you know, at least a lot of the popular ones, like friends, are like number one top priority. And like they'll do anything for them. I'm not saying you have to die literally for your friends, but I'm saying like you learn like what support really is and like what it's like to truly support someone, have someone support you, you know, like a healthy relationship with like a normal type of communication between one and someone else. So you can be like, okay, maybe this friendship I have over here with Samantha is toxic and then, but me and Daniel are good, so. Um, I think it definitely should change your perspective on the golden rule. If you don't know what the golden rule is, that is treat people the way you want it to be treated, which I think is pretty simple to follow. But, you know, I can't speak for everyone. And one thing I do believe, I think good things do happen to good people. So, like, if you're one of those like, really nice people and People always are like putting you down, but such things like that, you know, just wait for your time because I promise you, good things happen to good people. So a good example of like animes that put their friends first, I mean, you have Black Clover, you have Dragon Ball Z even, One Piece, you know, you got you hack a show, just different, really, really popular animes, fairy tale, <laughs> where they're willing to like put everything on the line. And there you go. Alright guys, that was six reasons why you should watch anime, or everyone should watch anime, and you know how I do, that's the thesis.